So here we have walking lunges. Yes, man. See, most bang for your buck, guys. Exercises like this won't impress anybody on social media, but they will leave a huge impression on your body. Absolutely solid. I like your shorts. They look like pajamas, brother Mike. They look like pajamas, but I like them. <laughs> Grüß Gott, Gregory von Lippstark here. Today I'm reacting to Precision Kettlebells and Pavel Krotov. I like these two YouTube channels because they actually advocate great form. These guys are sound and these guys follow kettlebell cannon. So you gotta check them out. That's what I'm gonna do right now. And if you like what they do, you gotta show them some love and subscribe to their YouTube channels. If you have anyone that I should react to that is kettlebell related, let me know in the comments. Now here we go guys, this is Mike from Precision Kettlebells. He's a pretty strong dude. He's rocking a 24 kilogram in this workout and that's what I like when experts are actually grabbing some weight which challenges you. So now let's check out his swings. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely solid. I like his shorts. They look like pajamas, brother Mike. They look like pajamas but I like them. <laughs> actually on the shorts, you know, sometimes if you have pants that are too tight you actually have a problem because when you go into the backswing maybe some piece of cloth is in your way or you might have trouble pushing your knees out a little bit i think that's the reason why dennis vazilev is always working out with ligands i like his very crisp hinge and as you can see he engages a little bit in a knee bend so that's a characteristic that i would a tribute to the heart style swing. Although you don't see an extreme snap, we could even say that this maybe sort of goes into a, some kind of hybrid version. Now he's also engaging in a staggered swing stance, as you can see. I think that's a great variety, although I am not very fond of these. As we always know, varieties for fun, and that's not something that I would say it's completely off the mark. This is something you can say, okay, maybe I'll just spice up the swing a little bit. So now Mike gets into the good stuff clean snatches and thrusters i like his ladder system even though i'm more of a fan of the four time method these reps are actually a little bit lower so maybe you don't lose count as easily when you go into the red zone now you see what mike is doing that's what i always say he engages in a so-called triangle position so he doesn't waste the first rep he can pull it in and then automatically work and that's what you have to do when you have a 24 kilogram kettlebell so cleaning it up Beautiful, good stuff. More a hard style, minimalist type of clean. Good stuff, keeping the arm in. And now the snatch. Also, more of a hard style specific snatch, but I like his technique, man. It's crisp. I like this transition. I do this as well. No, the difference is if you would do a kettlebell sport clean, is you would rack rest the weight on the iliac crest of your hip the hard style guys don't do it they stand up straight and tall that's just a small difference it's two different styles as we already know that's what good form looks like boom and i like the snatch great stuff man and boom into the thruster that's a great combo man engaging in the biomechanics of a front squat knees out chest up great stuff and then boom punching it up solid man now very important i maybe disagree on some ideas for example like the staggered stuff but these are just minor details so discernment is all about knowing right from wrong and if we follow kettlebell canon and we follow the proper principles then maybe we can disagree on the details so boom as you can see in this one he's grabbing a heavy one i think that's a 48 or at least a 40 and I'm almost at the end of the workout and he's still rocking with these exercises, clean snatch and thrusters, but he's switching the ladder system. In the second part of this video, we have Pavel Krotov. I think he sits at around five or 6,000 subscribers and that's solid stuff right here. Check this out, man, check this out. It's doubles. It's also more of a hard style of pro approach but I like it. The double snatch is always something where I'm a little bit careful. I've recently seen Dennis Vazilev engage in a competition where they actually go into the double snatch. I think the double snatch is highly advanced and you should be very careful when you do it. I'm not a huge fan of this, but it's just like with Mike from Precision Kettlebells. We may have some differences or some disagreements in the details and not in the basics. So here he starts with a push up and a climb. I like this, man. I actually recently seen this using heavy kettlebells for mountain climbers. Great idea, Pavel. Thank you, brother. Now, second one, bent over rows, crisp, crisp hinge, a solid flat back, 
pulling the elbows up close to the body. Great engagement for the lats. So here we have walking lunges. Yes, man. See, most bang for your buck, guys. See, it's not magic. Exercises like this won't impress anybody on social media, but they will leave a huge impression on your body. Now, a small feedback that we could give is if you are a little bit too fast, I would opt in to say you put the knee down, completely rest, let the weights drop, so to speak, that no momentum is involved because as you can see here, you see how they're swinging back and forth and this may put you off balance. Just put the knee down, relax for a second and standing up with dead weight, so to speak, without any momentum involved. Snatch, press, clean squat. You see, most, most bang for your buck, guys. And hey, before we wanna get started, you see what this is? The triangle, why? Because he's rocking a 24 kilogram kettlebell. And I think that's a wolfism. That's, that's a very nice kettlebell. And 24 kilos, you can't dangle them in front of you. You have to use the proper engagement to start working with the ballistics so you don't waste your first rep. Boom. Yes. More of a heart style kind of snatch. And then, yeah, 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 solid stuff, man. Solid stuff, a lot of tension involved. Yes, beautiful. And you see what he does with the squat? He engages in the same biomechanics as Mike from Precision Kettlebells, a front squat. So keeping the weight close to your body, that it's close in your center of mass, pushing the knees out. Great stuff, Pavel. And then cr oh, crush push-ups and climbs. Wow, crush push-ups. Wow. I like that. Well, Pavel, you got some great ideas, man. And that's actually one of these exercises where I'm always talking about. Yes, you can combine exercises. The combination of two exercises makes sense if you follow a certain kinetic chain. So in the part one protocol, he has four exercises for five reps each, and then you do a couple of rounds. And in the second part, you have higher rep ranges to go more in a cardiovascular type of training and that's a great combination you know i like the saying a rising tide lifts all boats and i want to do this i want to highlight the experts that are out there on youtube and i want to recommend these guys to you because they know how the kettlebell works and they can give you some great insight some valuable knowledge and i strongly believe that the bigger the audience that i have the more i have to shed a light on other channels as well who are up and coming and who are growing because we need more experts in this field thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video like it consider subscribing if you want to see more kettlebell content and if you're looking for a kettlebell program that builds you up from a beginner to a slowly advanced trainee in the course of about three months and you maybe want to combine it with some easy to follow nutrition coaching because maybe you want to lose weight or you want to get in shape then check out 90 days of kettlebells you find the link in the description 14 day free trial included